I've coached Boyd. I'm the head coach of the Lord Mustangs. Um, we'll talk a little bit about our upcoming season. Uh, kids have done a really good job in the off season. Uh, a lot of a lot of kids have come on with their strength in the weight room, put the time in the off season. They're uh, ready to you know to to play on Friday nights. A lot of them have. They know what it takes. You don't win ball games uh, during the season. You win ball games uh, in the off season. Uh, the season's the fun part. Um, very good uh, expectations this year. You know, we kind of have to change our offense around just a little bit for our personnel. We do that. We, we don't try to fit our kids into a box. Uh, we try to, uh, uh, you know, acclimate or uh, accommodate them uh, in what they can and can't do. Um, so we feel like we've got everything in place for that. Having replaced some uh, really good players that uh, that we let, you know, that went on last year. Uh, you can't hardly replace a Rawson or an Allen or a Leo Green or uh, even a Spencer Darnell uh, or uh, Matt Moore, you know, Tanner Wilson. Now, those are those are just really, really good athletes that uh, have come there and done a good job for us. But uh, we got high expectations, so, uh, you know, Luke Fleming will be coming in, him and uh, Chance Kennedy playing quarterback, and uh, Joseph Smith and uh, uh, Luke Hood, fullbacks, and uh, tailbacks. Got a, uh, Hood's going to be playing tailback along with Chance Kennedy, and then uh, we got a really, really good, uh, really talented freshman in Preston Berry Hill. But we feel like it's going to do some good things for us. Um, <clears throat> Burks, you know, on the outside is always ever dangerous. He's a great kid. Um, Sam Bottoms has come on work hard in the off season, uh, and then uh, you know we got Nicholas Kirstein's come out and Jordan Killen, uh, you know, offensive line. All, you know, uh, they just working, working, working really hard. Uh, defensively. You know, we we've got a, a bunch of guys going to play both ways. You know, we we're at the, the typical one A two A school. Uh, a lot of our kids do play both ways. Uh, you know, our linemen especially, uh, Jameson, Josh Brown, Jake Nelson, Nick Green, uh, Rob Smith, uh, Logan Nunley. Uh, you know, linebackers in there with uh, Mason Purser and uh, Kobe Staggs and Joe Smith and Gustavo Miranda. Uh, he's, a, he's another freshman that we have high hopes for. I think he's going to be a really, really good player here. Um, and then, of course, Barry Hill's going to play some, you know, play corner also. And, and then, of course, uh, you know, Hood, safety, and, uh, uh, you know, Kennedy's coming back as a really good corner. So we, we have a lot of experience on both sides, uh, you know, coming back. Uh, of course, playing at the level that we have to play with the schedule we have to play, that we're going to have to, uh, you know, we're not very deep, and, and we're going to have to uh, play hard the whole time. Uh, we're going to be in very good shape, and we're going to have to do the things that we can do well. Uh, in saying that, you know, we're very excited. We have Lewis County uh, starting out next Friday night. Uh, very good football team. Coach Sharp does a great job with them over there. Uh, it's going to be a dog fight. We know that. It always is when we play. We, uh, we did a good job with them last year. Just come up a little short. Uh, they finished in the semifinals. Uh, went 13-1, and uh, and I think we had a chance at them right there. So, <laughs> we have the uh, the ability, and, and I, th I think our kids from from Loretta fight well against Lewis County. I uh, got a new new name on the schedule this year uh, with Rogers, Alabama. We're gonna kind of have a battle at the border again. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, uh, Coach Randall Martin and me kind of got together in the off season and worked some things out, and, and we're gonna try to keep them on schedule from now on. Uh, they're just they're just just like us. They're from you know we, we don't live 15 miles apart, so we we really wanted to keep them on the schedule. Um, you know, we go to Perry County. Uh, you know, it's our first region game. It'll be it'll be big for us. Uh, don't really know what they have coming back. Uh, they're always big. They're big kids from over there, and, and they and they do things pretty well. Uh, Perry County. You know who's next? Uh, you know, our first coming out here. We know that. We look forward to that. Uh, be a good ball game. Always a good, great rivalry ball game. Coach Marston does a real good job with his bunch up there. Great, great coaches. Uh, great kids. So uh, you know, we we uh, we enjoy that rivalry. After that, we got Collinwood uh, over there. That's another region matchup for us. Um, they got a new coach, so I don't really know what to expect of them. But uh, they, it's always a, a pretty good ball game when we play Collinwood. It's never something that's uh, easy for either one of us. Uh, Mount Pleasant. After that, always athletic. Um, don't they have a new coach also? And, and I'm not really sure what kind of offensive or defensive scheme they're going to run. But uh, uh, very, very athletic. Uh, of course, Wayne County. Uh, kind of picked to win the district way up in the state this year. We go to them this year uh, on week six. Uh, we're looking forward to that one. Uh, we kind of owe them one. You know, last year we had some injuries and, and kind of uh, 
had to share the district championship with them. And, and in essence, when you look down to it, we had to give them the gold ball because uh, head to head they beat us. So, uh, you know, we, we've actually tied for first in the uh, in our uh, district the last two years, or the region the year before, and then the district uh, uh, this past year. But uh, you know, we, we we don't want to share it anymore. So we're going to do our best to uh, to to bring it home, you know, uh, outright this year. Uh, after that, we've got, uh, let's see, Wayne County, uh, we'll go to Drysdale County. Uh, going driving all the way down to uh, Arsenal, Tennessee, Arsenal, Tennessee. And, uh, down by the river, uh, playing probably, you know, what is the number one team in the state of Tennessee in 2A. Very, very well coached. Coach Christie does a great job with them. Uh, they're projected to go back and win the gold ball again. Uh, just a little on that. Uh, teams like Drysdale County and, and Fort Campbell last year, the, and, and even Lewis County, uh, you know, we had to find seven non-region ball games when they reclassified uh, a couple years back or year last year, and we had a difficult time doing that because we had some success and and we just could not get the people uh, in our general area around schedule because we didn't realize that the split was going to happen. So we, uh, you know, we called several schools to because really we don't like that travel, um, and and we kind of you know running out of options there. And the other ones left were the teams that were perennially, you know, powerhouses or, or stay there most of the time. And, and Trousdale County, I, you know, I kind of looked ahead and thought, you know, they're the same size as we are. I know they're going to be a very good football team. Uh, little did I know they were going to be uh, the 15 and 0 state champ, 14 and 0 state champions. But, um, you know, I, I guess I look at it this way. You know, we play football for a reason, and it really shouldn't matter who we play. It shouldn't dictate how our kids play. Uh, you know, we talk to our kids a lot about that. Not not changing your style of play because of your certain uh, because of your situation or your surroundings. Uh, it shouldn't change the way that you play. So, uh, yeah, it's a tough ball game. But uh, I, I'm not a, I'm not a believer in doing things the easy way. I think we do things the right way. And if we want to play in Cook, well, we know that we have to play teams like that and inevitably probably play that team if we got there. So I think it's a great test for our kids. Uh, I think it's a great atmosphere, and it gives us a, it gives us a measuring stick for, for where we need to be, and we find out whether or not we're there or not. Uh, so that's going to be a good ball game. Um, you know, from there we get the, the Richland ball game is at home this year. That's homecoming. Uh, I think that is the week after fall break. That'll be our homecoming. It's going to be uh, deep into October, so it'll be good and cool and look good. And, and then we have a special thing coming against Columbia Academy. Should be a pink out game. Farm Bureau's done a good job of, of kind of organizing that. They're going to. Uh, they bought us all uh, pink jerseys for the uh, home team for us, and uh, we're aware of them that night. And then after the game, uh, I think Farm Bureau is going to auction off those jerseys and give all the money to uh, breast cancer awareness or cancer awareness. I'm not real sure which one it is, but we really appreciate Farm Bureau wanting to include us in that. Uh, we have a bye week, week 10. It's the first time we've done that. Um, and, you know, I, I told the parents the other night that's, that, that can be good in a lot of ways. Uh, number one, uh, it, you know, when we make the playoffs, if we play the first week of the playoffs, then we've got a week to prepare. Uh, if we have a season, you know, like we hope we do, uh, and we get a first round bye because we're number one or number two in our in our uh, region, then our district, uh, then we'll get two weeks off before we play. Uh, or if, if the season doesn't come out like we plan or whatever, then we get a week early at basketball. So, uh, you know, I know that's kind of a laughing matter. We don't want that to happen, uh, even though, you know, we, we won't everybody to be able to do the things that they need to do and we have a lot of guys that, that do that play basketball baseball and everything but uh it just kind of fell that way this year um very happy with everything our kids have been doing you know we act which we're acting right we're, we're doing the things we're supposed to do we're being good young men on and off the field um living a great town uh love it here uh, i'm from here uh, there's there's this is a very special place not just because i live here uh, talking to outside coaches it's it's very hard to win here if you're another coach, and, and uh, they'll even say that the tradition runs deep here of the support, and, and, and that's why I love it here. Uh, there's there's just very few places in the world like Loretta anymore, and uh, I love it. And they're very supportive of all the fans, and, and people get behind my boys, and, and regardless of the situation, they're there. Uh, if we need something, we can ask for it. Everybody's always uh, so good to help. Uh, if they do something, I hear it all the time. If you need something, you let me know. If you need something, let me know. So that's something that, that you know I really appreciate, and I, and I know my boys do. But uh, other than that, I think uh, our season is going to you know 
be what it is, and it's going to be based upon how hard our kids uh, play from this point forward. Uh, I'm proud of every one of them. I'm going to train them for one kid in the nation. Uh, I, would, I, I just I don't want any other team. I want them, and I tell them that all the time. Uh, they're my boys, and uh, they're your boys too. Uh, so just, just remember us on Friday nights. We're ready. We're here. Wherever we go, if you can't catch us, then watch us on Mustangs TV. Uh, I'm Coach Boyd. I'll see you on Friday night.